Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to the fifth and last OSIN challenge in a Back in Time series which I created for Bellingcat. This set and many others can be found on Bellingcat's open source challenge platform which you can access by going to challenge.bellingcat.com. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to Toolkit Tracing. Let me zoom this. Yay, here we go. It says, on September 2024, Bellingcat announced a new online investigations toolkit now hosted on GitHub. Over the years, the toolkit has taken many forms, starting as a Google Doc, later a Google Sheet, and even circulated as a PDF. In 2020, the Guides and Handbooks section included a link to a document that is no longer accessible, though it can still be found online. Your task is to identify the type of hazard listed at the top of the table on page 39 within that document. And here is the answer format letting us know that the answer will be one capitalized word. Before we start, I want to clarify that I should have written Gitbook here, not GitHub. I apologize, the new Bellingcat toolkit is being hosted on Gitbook with the content managed through a GitHub repository. It's a small difference, it does not affect the challenge, but I still wanted to correct it. Right, let's do it, the final challenge. This one is focused on finding documents that are either deleted, moved or updated, which is something that occasionally happens during OSINT investigations. We find a website or a document, we get super excited because it's full of potentially useful links and somehow the one we need is just gone. So how do we work around it? We'll have to figure that out because for this challenge, we'll have to track down a Bellingcat toolkit version from 2020, locate a document which will be missing, Find it anyway, scroll to page 39, look for some sort of table and identify the type of hazard listed at the very top. So already know that our target document has something to do with hazards. How mysterious. It's mostly because I wanted to end this set with something dangerous just for the fun of it. Okay, so this seems like a lot of steps, but just like the previous challenge, if we just take one step at a time, it will be very straightforward. Right, so we're looking for the 2020 version, therefore we can exclude the Git book one because it didn't even exist back then. But let's find it anyway, as it may contain some useful information. And we can Google something like Bellingcat Online Investigation Toolkit. Let me zoom this in. So the top result is the article announcing it, and the second is the actual toolkit. So let's just open both both of them, why not, right? So there you have it, this is a new toolkit, you can find it on bellingcat.gitbook.io slash toolkit and this is announcement, very zoomed in, <laughs> this is announcement of this new investigations toolkit from September 24, 2024. We can quickly check if there was a mention of an older version on this article just by searching for the word version. And here we have it, it says including the previous version of our toolkit which was available on Google Sheets. So we know that the previous one was on Google Sheets. Let's just click this one and here we go. This is it. According to the information here at the top, I don't know if you can see, I'm not sure how much more I can zoom, it's just going to be crazy. Okay, here we go, you can see it, August 2023. So this was the last time this toolkit was updated. Let me zoom out again and let's look at the category. So there's one called Guides, which is close enough to Guides and Handbooks. We can click on it and we're transported to a tab that does say Guides and Handbooks exactly as it is written on our challenge, which is great. Where is it? I lost it already. Here you go, Guides and Handbooks, brilliant. So far so good, however, this is a 2023 version, as we already saw it, we want a 2020 document. With a bit of luck, we just need to use the Wayback Machine and see how this list looked like in 2020. So let's do that, I have here a Wayback Machine extension, I just click on it, it's free, I definitely recommend it. And there is a problem, there are only two versions, one from 2024 and one very very recent, this is the 30th of May and this was on the 24th, so the challenge was already out. Unfortunately, that means that we don't have any from 2020, but that's fine, that's fine. There are other documents to search for, so let's just move to the Google Doc, which we haven't seen yet. It's also mentioned here, we know that it started as a Google Doc, so maybe we need to go all the way back. Unfortunately, there are no links to the Google Doc on the announcement here, so we need to think of something else. Google documents like Google Doc or Google Sheets can be easily found because they all start the same way, and I'll show you. Look at this, this one, the link here starts with, let me get the document, I'll paste it here, so you can see how this Google Sheet starts with docs.google.com slash spreadsheets. 
a Google Docs will be slightly different because it will start with docs.google.com slash documents and we can use that to search for it. So let's just Google something like Bellingcat Toolkit and in quotation marks docs.google.com slash document and here we have it. I'm going to scroll past the AI information as usual and there's a few good results but I'm going to go straight to Bellingcat because they're the official source so they'll know it, right? So let's click on it. And let me zoom in and look at that nice picture. It looks like the one we have here, isn't it? Look at that. It's almost like it's on purpose. <laughs> Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's click on the document and check it out. And it's deleted. That's fine. That's fine. This is what the challenge is all about, just overcoming all these things, which is great. This is what I want to show. So let's try what we tried before because it kind of worked more or less, which is the Wayback Machine. Maybe this one was archived in 2020. Who knows, right? And wow, look at that. Okay, it has been archived a lot of times between 2018 and 2025. Although you can see that the yellow color here means the document is no longer accessible. So it's a lot of archives, but they're all pointless. It needs to be blue. So let's go back to 2020 and here we have it. Lots of very nice blue links. We're not fussy, so we're just going to pick a random one. Let's go with this one, August 28th. And let's check it out. Great. Okay. So first impressions, there's a nice picture around. I like it. Interesting enough, you can see here. Oh, oh no. It says enable to load file. Try to load it again or send an error report. Let's reload it again. That's fine. We can try it, right? And it reloads and here we go. Brilliant. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Again. So this is going to be continuously happening no matter what is the link you click on 2020, although there's a lot of them and I didn't actually click all of them. So now we have two options, right? We either work at the speed of light <laughs> to get to the guides and handbook section before this page reloads, identify the correct document from the list and click on it, or we try to find a PDF version that is mentioned in the briefing. Because if you have done any of my challenge before this one, you'd know that everything is a clue and nothing is an accident. Apart from me writing GitHub instead of Gitbook, that was an accident. It's a shame I will carry for the rest of my life. But even if you hadn't tried any of my previous challenges, you'd still probably find this document infuriating. So let's find another way to solve it by tracking down a PDF version of this toolkit. Similarly to our search for the Google Docs, we're going to start with Bellingcat Toolkit. Here we go. But this time we're going to follow with file type colon PDF. And this is to ensure we just get PDF documents on our list of results. And because we want just a 2020 version, let's add a before column 2021. Here we go. Great. So the two top results mention the toolkit in their title. I like it. The first one is from 2018 and the second one is from 2020. So obviously let's go with the second option. There we go. And look at that. It's the exact same version as the archived Google Docs, but without the annoying reloading. So much nicer, isn't it? So let's check it out. On the second page, we have a very handy list of categories that we can click on. So let's click on the guides and handbooks and we'll go straight to that section. And let me zoom this a bit more so you can actually read this. Brilliant. There's only a few links here, but only one of them appears to be a document that mentions harmful substances. Look at that. Knowing that we're looking for a table with hazards, this sounds like the correct one, doesn't it? So let's click on it and it just redirects to the OSHA main page, which is good because that means we are on the right track, right? So the briefing specifically mentioned that the document is no longer accessible, though it can still be found online. So let's find it. We could just access it through the Wayback Machine, but we've used that method already and I'm bored of it. <laughs> I want to show you a different one. It's actually the one I use all the time and it relies on a small interesting fact about humans. We are lazy. We're lazy people. That means that we rarely change the name of documents. Even when they have typos or even when they contain irrelevant information, it doesn't matter. People will download and re-upload it somewhere else with the exact same title. And we can see here the name of the document, don't we? It says there feet and score version and score 1.1 point PDF. So let's just search for that in quotation marks. Exactly what I just said. Here we go. We can click on the first link. You can click on the second or the third. It'll all lead to the same document and you can download the document here. I already have it, so I don't need to download it. Here we go. This is my version here. It's not zoomed enough. I'm zooming a bit more. 
Here we go. Right, so what we need to do now, let's check out what it says there. It says we need to identify the type of hazard listed at the top of the table on page 39. So let's go to page 39. 39, so this is 37. Let's skip to 39. Here we are. Let me zoom even more. I want this big very big. We can see a table containing a list of hazards and at the top of that list is the word explosive. Let's try that as the answer and look at that. Woohoo, we did it! The answer to the last challenge of the back in time set was explosive. I wanted to end with a bang. <laughs> I sincerely hope you had fun and learned a lot of new tricks and skills along the way. If you want more, check out my website. I already have dozens of OSINT exercises there and I keep on creating new ones. In the meanwhile, have a great week.